Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the summary for the day of 737 for the 1st of March. And uh, we're going to start off with the frontline changes report. And there is some uh, significant change uh, or rather no uh, yeah, change over at the Bakhmut front, over at Ivanivsky. So uh, over at Ivanivsky, the Ukrainian mapping have been updated and uh, this time around they have uh, acknowledged uh, the the or somewhat semi corroborated the changes or the updates from the Russian side. So, uh, as again, uh, Ivanisky, the Russian uh, Ukrainian side, uh, updates like a few days slower than the Russian side, and the uh, information suggests that the Russian forces forces confirmed to have captured the entire eastern part of Ivanisky. In fact, also the entire southeastern part of Ivanisky. And uh, this actually corroborates uh, the previous uh, report that I told you, told you guys about. There's a high, high chance that the Russian forces will progress from the southern flank and to flank the U Ukrainian forces uh, from the south. However, the Ukrainian mapping do not acknowledge the Russian claims of uh, the capture of this uh, this northern part of Ivanisky. The, this one is only exists in the Russian mapping or in terms of the Ukrainian mapping, they do not acknowledge this change. So uh, Ukrainian mapping so far, if you look at it, uh, it looks, it's going to look like this. This is the Ukrainian uh, mapping. It looks something like this. So this is the line here. This is where the front line is. It's a bit different from the Russians, where the Russians actually you know, lines up here. So only the southern part is the same. So uh, we, that's all from this one. We'll talk more in the sit wrap. And uh, we, the other frontline change is over at the Georgievka. So uh, the Ukrainian mapping have updated and conceded. Finally, uh, this part of the uh, the settlement has been fallen to the Russian forces. With the Russian forces continue to progress in this direction. Uh, the Russian claimed this area pretty, pretty long ago. However, it's only until now that the Ukrainians have uh, acknowledged this area. Uh, change however the battle continues is continued to be a hard fight so there's no other changes in terms of the uh, Georgievka and uh, further south from Georgievka is Novo Mihailivka uh, Ukrainian mapping also have acknowledged the Russian uh, capture of this uh, farm or warehouse or something over here uh, acknowledging that the Russian forces have changed the front line to this which means that the Russians are progressing from the south closing back up the front line and actually uh, corroborating with the Russian claims. Uh, the This actually is prompted due to a uh, geolocation of Russian forces at the northern edge of this uh, industrial uh, area. And they actually uh, show their flag uh, over this area, confirming their control over the southern part of Novo Mihailivka. So the Ukrainians uh, have no choice but to update their mapping into uh, to reflect this new reality. But as such, in still deep state ua is still the most reliable mapping out there even if they are slow uh, they are very very seldom wrong they are usually always right so just that they are slow so uh and uh over at the Baivka, over at the kupians front there is a uh, uh ukraine claims that the ukrainian forces have actually progressed uh, in this area here and captured this north eastern part of Tabaivka. So uh, this actually negated the Russian claims of capture from the 27 to 29 uh, because now the Ukrainians basically have taken uh, back part of this uh, non-existing settlement. So the, this this settlement is not even a settlement, it's just the name of this place uh, because there's hardly any buildings around here. So the yeah, this is basically just a battle of some grounds with a name. So you know that's all from the Tabaivka region. And uh, there's one last frontline change is over at Uruzaine. So over at the Velikan over Silka sector of the Donetsk front. And uh, on the eastern part of uh, Uruzaine, this is Uruzaine and the eastern part. This tree line around here, uh, this tree line is previously geolocated or you know, confirmed to be under Russian control. This time around, there's a massive airstrike hitting this location, confirming Ukrainian positions uh, at this edge of this tree line. And this airstrike basically shows that the Ukrainians during some time ago or recently have taken this position. They have attacked and captured this position and managed to you know, send uh, land troops and actually station and entrench themselves over this position. Uh, and yeah, and it attracted an airstrike. This also makes it, uh, is a reminder that the Russian forces may have all this front line, but they may not uh, 
put troops to hold these lines. So this is something uh, important to note. They they operate on a different doctrine from the Ukrainians. For the Ukrainians, they will uh, constantly put troops to entrench themselves, uh, but the Russians uh, will not necessarily uh, entrench themselves. I'm not sure if I'm too loud. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the meter. It seems that I'm quite loud. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, I can't adjust it right now. Uh, as in, like, I don't know if... Uh, what what are you hearing? So I'm going to adjust over uh, after recording. So uh, sorry if it's a bit too loud. And that's all from the uh, Frontline Changes report.